Now that you've determined the best mounting location, you can begin the installation. On this vehicle, the reverse wires are part of a wiring harness that connects to the rear light assembly. We used a multimeter to test and determine the correct wires to demonstrate the wiring connection. After you have located the reverse light wires, or constant power source, use a wire splice connector to connect the power cable from the transmitter to the positive cable of the reverse light or constant power source. Next, connect the negative cable from the transmitter to a grounded location on the vehicle. Do not permanently mount the transmitter. Set the transmitter in an area you can plan to mount it, and connect the camera so you can test the mounting location. When the transmitter is installed in an ideal location, you will see video on your Garmin device when you place the vehicle in reverse. If you connected the transmitter to a constant power source, the video should be visible on the screen immediately. If the wiring connections are good, try placing the transmitter in a different location until you can see the video feed from the camera on your Garmin device. The camera bracket can be secured to the license plate using the existing license plate screws. Disconnect the license plate, clip on the camera bracket, and reinstall the license plate. Determine the best place for the camera cable to enter the vehicle and connect to the transmitter cable. For this installation, we will enter the vehicle through the license plate light hole. Next, we will route the camera cable through the light hole and connect it to the transmitter cable. If needed, 50-foot extension cables are available from your Garmin dealer. Remember, if you cannot make the connection from the camera to the transmitter in a protected location, you must use heat shrink tubing to make the connection water resistant. Adjust the camera in the bracket using the included hex key on the two hex bolts. If you mounted the camera bracket to the bottom of the license plate, remember to rotate the camera 180 degrees before securing it to the bracket so the video feed appears right side up. After you have mounted the camera and connected it to the transmitter, test the angle of the installation. Note the camera angle on your Garmin device and make any necessary adjustments. For a better camera view, angle the camera toward the ground. Use the included hex key to securely tighten the camera in the bracket after you have adjusted the angle correctly. In the next video, we'll discuss configuring the camera guidance lines.